time I've done this because I made it over 10 minutes long every time, so I'm going to try and do super quick. So, my name is Quentin Breach, and this is my third vlog for the class, Music, edu music Education Technologies. And I didn't answer my question from last week. Oops. And I wanted to go over that right now. If I was a band director and I had a student in both involved in football, but he was also a high component in my marching band, and the football team had a playoff game, first time ever in school history, same weekend, same day, around the same time as uh, a competition, a huge marching band competition, um, which one would I let him go to and why? And my first reaction is, well, marching band, because it's better than football. But then I realized I, I was the idiot that put the date out there like yeah well, let's go to this thing even though there's the football date football playoff date oh our team's not gonna make it whatever i mean really that's just poor planning on my part it shouldn't be the student's fault so i <laughs> honestly would let him do the football playoff game mostly because i was an idiot um really just depends on the situation and how it develops honestly priorities if you find out about something first in my opinion that's what gets done first and that's just that's just how I work. Anyway, so after answering that question, Jeff posed a few questions that I um, had to ponder over a lot, and they're very um, I like them a lot. Anyway, um, first one is why am I a music major? And it's not because of music; it's because of the directors that I had in high school, that I had in middle school, and that I currently have right now. Um, I've I've had high quality band directors. I I just love them, and it, it's crazy to think that they made this much of an impact to where I'm a music major now. Um, granted, I love music and I love doing what I do, and I actually do have a passion to actually teach a band. It's not like oh I'm doing this for pride or anything. Um, anyway. Um, my my second band director that I had, I had him for two years in middle school, two years in high school, and he is the sole reason that I am here today because I learned so much from him. He he helped me realize what I wanted to be in a band director, that I can teach kids music, but I could also teach them life skills, and I could teach them other things besides band. He was able, like, not like, hey, here's how to balance a checkbook, but like, he taught us music theory. Like, I mean, that sounds really like, well, duh, shouldn't he do that? He's a music teacher. But, like, he didn't have to do that. All he really had to do was wave his baton and conduct a rehearsal. He didn't have to talk about life stories and have chats with us in his office or even teach us theory. He just did, he did that because he cared so much about us. And it was... I really appreciate him for that, and he did leave after my sophomore year to take another position at my, at his church and my church that I attend as well, um, and we had a new director step in, and he was fantastic as well, but my, the first director I had in high school, he, he just, he's just phenomenal, I, it was just unreal on how much I learned, I want to be the teacher that isn't able to teach the kids music. I want to be the kid that teaches them music, but it's able to get them to other places in life. So I want to be that kind of role model. I want to be that kind of example. I would I I plan to open up my office when I'm a director and like if kids need to come in and talk to me, it doesn't even have to be ban about band related stuff. I'm okay with that. Cuz I mean, people need to talk. People need to vent. And I want to be that kind of person. I want to be one that listens to the students and listens to what they have to say. Um, I'm going to leave most of the things entirely up to the students um, regarding the band program that I will be in charge of, and that sounds awful. But anyway, I just want to be in an, I want to be an impact as a teacher, and I want to be the impact that creates other people that have the same mindset that I do, or they are able to go off in life and think musically in other aspects of life where it doesn't have to apply for it. The second question that Jeff had was, what instrument would I play besides the trombone that I play right now? 
and the trombone best instrument ever so that i mean if i no if the, all the trombones went instinct, extinct um and the trombone never existed probably euphonium or tuba euphonium baritone or tuba because i like having that foundation of the sound um or i'd probably do piccolo i don't know um yeah i'd probably do the foundation of the sound just because of i like how it resonates um and how people have to listen down um the biggest the the bass sounds create how loud the band can be and that's what i like that's what i would like to be and that's what i kind of am right now so yeah anyway this last question why illinois is one that i've had to think about for a long time now i mean this is um it's about a year now that i made my decision and gosh so long ago i ended up making a video on it and not even going to go into the details about it but i i had four schools north central college in naperville illinois illinois wesleyan university in bloomington illinois illinois state university in normal illinois and here at the university of illinois at urbana champaign in urbana champaign sorry and i obviously chose illinois but it was based on a few reasons first one the band possibilities there was so much more that i could have that i can get out of this program um that i couldn't get going to any of the other three um first off i went to nashville as a freshman with the wind symphony we went on a co we played for a college direct college band directors national conference in nashville and I did that in my second semester here. And it's like, what? I, I went to a bowl game. Uh, in the fall, we're going to Macy's. And there's I hopefully there's three more bowl games in my future here in Illinois. But as a freshman, I've already had all these crazy opportunities. And um, I couldn't have gotten those anywhere else. The, the fact that I've gotten these opportunities here is what makes it so special but the fact that um i don't I, it's just i couldn't see myself anywhere else that that's how so happy i am with my decision granted i i'm tired i'm dead tired because of all these things that i'm doing but i love it here and that's what makes this all worthwhile for me and i'm so blessed because this goes on my second uh point on why i'm here is because it was cheaper to go here than anywhere else i mean north central they gave me enough to cover everything but the only thing was is that their program had started 20 years ago their marching band started at the beginning of 2013 so it was only like a year old when I applied and um, Wesleyan super expensive um, ended up not really working out for me either um, and North Central Wesleyan were just too small for me I just couldn't do that and North Central was in the Chicago suburbs and I can't do that either Illinois State was in my hometown and even with me not staying at, or if i stayed at home i would still have it more expensive if i went to illinois state it's still cheaper here me like i'm this isn't like a bragging opportunity for me either but it the fact that i'm so blessed to be here um with the financial aid and the, the support that i've been given for my family is overwhelming and i can't be more thankful and more blessed than what i have ever been because of the help that I've gotten to get here and it just makes the academic side and just being in college all that more um, fun and it just gives me all this more um, I guess passion to be an Illini just because of why I'm here and 
the final thing is I, I like I love being here, but I I strongly believe that marching Illini was the biggest one of the biggest things besides finances that helped me get here. Because a lot of people think that marching band is like a huge thing to me, and it is. It it's actually one of the biggest things to me, but the fact that I'm able to be in an ensemble with so much history, the fact that it was one of the first, it was the first marching band to um, be from a college, and I'm a part of that, and I'm a, I'm a part of one of the oldest traditions that has ever been created for a marching band, like. That goes with opportunities, too. It's just, it's crazy to think of how much I've been able to experience this year. And just, I'm so blessed to be here. I'm, I'm humbled by it. And anyway, so I guess that's a long, um, that's a longer than what I thought. Um, but yeah, I'm just blessed to be here because of opportunities, finances, and I couldn't see myself anywhere else than being a fighting Illini here at the University of Illinois. So with that, I will see you next week, and I hope you have a fantastic week.